A US Navy ship has fired warning shots at Iranian military vessels. Seems an American defense official says the incident happened in the Strait of Hormuz on Sunday. The USS Mahan destroyer apparently tried to establish contact with what were rapidly approaching Iranian ships that didn't respond. Three warning shots were fired where they got as close as 800 meters. Let's bring in Kavi Afrasabi. Talk about what's going on here. He's an Iranian American political scientist and author. Um, this could get hot, couldn't it? US officials say that this happened in international waters, why do you think the Iranian vessels then didn't respond to communications from the American warship? What was going on? Well, there are always two sides to this story, and we have to wait and see how Iran responds to these allegations and whether or not, in fact, the U.S. ship was in the international waters and so forth. So mm. I would, you know, await judgment on this until further information is received. However, this is not the first time that we see, you know, such things happening in the volatile uh, Strait of Hormuz. And, you know, there's a very small part of it that is uh, international waterway. And most of the ships going in go through the Iranian territorial waters. Could you tell our viewers and, why this place uh, is important, you know, why the Strait of Hormuz is important? Well, so much of the world's oil exports go through that. And, uh, you know, the Iranians, because of uh, hostility with the United States and so forth in the past, have threatened to shut it down. And, uh, you know, there's uh, tremendous uh, geopolitical and strategic importance mm -hmm. attached to the Strait of Hormuz that is bound to continue in the decades to come. Well, I was going to say, and you know, this is also a potential <laughs> flashpoint between an assertive regional power and intrusive Western superpower that considers Persian Gulf basically as its own private lake. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, why is it going to go into Donald Trump? He becomes U.S. president in just 11 days now. He's shown pretty tough views on relations with Iran thus far. Um, where do you think it's going to go yeah. within the next, uh, <laughs> bearing in mind how hot potentially this is around that whole area, where is it going to go over the next six months, do you think? Well, I don't really think that there's going to be much of anything happening with, you know, Trump uh, going through the transition to install himself. And, you know, he has sent mixed signals with respect to Iran. You know, on Persian Gulf, he has threatened to beat back the Revolutionary Guards and their, you know, their vessels. On the other hand, he has hinted at cooperation with Iran and Russia and Syria vis-a-vis -vis the menace of ISIS and terrorism in general. And we'll see which side of the, you know, the the aisle, the the, yeah, but the, he, the chips you Trump, pop. Trump uh, but, was no fan of that big Iran nuclear deal, though, was he? He was no fan of that nuclear deal that was broken under Well, he has under, basically under three positions on the nuclear deal. He mm. has three basic positions, one to scrap it, the other to revise, and, you know, to also maintain and enforce the contract. And uh, uh, my hunch is that he will enforce the, the, the deal and try to renegotiate it, but this will drag on to his second or third year and so forth. Nothing ah. immediate. Kavi, thanks for your time. Kavi Shabi, political scientist and author.